So I'm sure many of you have seen James Bond, No Time to Die, the most recent 007 movie. I still have not watched it yet. I do plan on eventually watching the movie, but I haven't seen it yet. I do know that before the movie came out, there were a lot of conversations about a 20th century James Bond and how we need to make the character more relevant for today's standards and how he's a relic and the things that he does with women are just things of the past. The way they put it, we need a more feminist James Bond. I don't know how well that translated into the movie. A lot of people seem to have enjoyed it. Enjoyed it. That's fine. If you liked it, I just, I haven't seen it yet because I don't know. I just don't know if I'm going to like it. I will eventually sit down and watch it though. Now, the reason I'm talking about this is because of the director, Carrie Fukunaga. Now, there's some new developments with this man, but first, let me tell you why I'm talking about this. So, before the movie came out, he was doing quite the damage. He's actually, the, him and a couple of other people are the reason that I'm just not in a rush to watch the movie. And that's because of the things that they said about James Bond before No Time to Die came out. Uh, Kerry Fukunaga is very much a male feminist. And there's things with male feminists that usually always come true. But let me give you what he said. So his biggest thing was in an interview with The Hollywood Reporter, uh, Fukunaga asked, is it Thunderball or Goldfinger, where, like, basically Sean Connery's character uh, makes women do things? She's like, no, no, no. And he's like, yes, yes, yes. That wouldn't fly today. You can't change Bond overnight into a different person, but you can definitely change the world around him and the way that he has to function in that world. Story about a white man as a spy in the world. But you have to be willing to lean in and do the work to make the female characters more than contrivances. That's right. Male feminist, basically. That's the what. That's what I got off of it reading his interviews and the way that he was pitching this new Bond movie. Well, as usual, <laughs> men that call themselves, happily call themselves and identify as male feminists, usually turn out to be anything but, as you can see from this new article here from the Daily Wire, there's a bunch of articles out there. It's not just from here. Everyone's talking about this right now. No Time to Die director Carrie Fukunaga accused of inappropriate behavior by not one, not two, not three, not four, multiple women. He needs to be stopped. Oh, boy. Who didn't see this coming? Now, to be fair, uh, nothing in here is absolute. It's accusations. I haven't seen any evidence. But it's just funny that every time you have a guy come out and act like he's a champion of women, that he's a, he's a representative of the feminism ways, and he's there, he's a guy you can trust, uh, you could lock yourself in a room with him, he would never do anything. Uh, this seems to always happen. It's like... It's like when a guy comes forward and says this and he works in Hollywood, especially in Hollywood, it's like, well, let's start the clock. And eventually, something's going to come up. And it, once again, here we are. So I'm going to go through a little bit of this. Uh, the women are claiming that the 44-year-old director used his power and influence to try to get young women into having relationships with him, according to IndieWire. One anonymous source shared the information with Rolling Stone claiming that he engaged in an absolute clear-cut abuse of power during his interactions 
with actresses and crew members on the set of his new project, the Apple TV Plus miniseries, Masters of the Air. Actress and skateboarder border, Rachel Weinberg, 23, said that she met Fukunaga when she was 18. She shared a selfie she had with the director earlier this month and wrote on the caption, I spent years being scared of him. Man's a groomer, and he's been doing this shit for years. Beware women. She also reported a screenshot of his recent story on Instagram and says that it makes her mad because he literally doesn't care about women. He only traumatizes them. I've spoken to many girls. F you, Carrie. And, you know, this is him sharing a pro row Wade story. So he's acting like he's this big champion of women, and he's anything but. Now, he released a statement saying there's nothing bad about pursuing friendships or consensual romantic relationships with women. Uh, he creates a work environment that is creative, collaborative, and welcoming to all. And then you got a couple of other women that have come forward. Now, it seems like he hasn't really done anything. He is just using his position to try to, uh, what's that phrase, stick his pen in the company ink, which isn't a good idea. And I do think that if you are in a position of power like this, you definitely probably shouldn't be doing that. Like, cause it puts people in a position. The power dynamic is, is cause you put people in a position that like, you know, they could think, well, if I don't do this, I could lose my job. Whether or not that's actually the case, it does happen. I don't understand why you would do that on the set when you could obviously just go out to a big Hollywood party or spot and say, I'm the director of No Time to Die, and you could probably literally leave with 30 women. So I, I think that would be better. Maybe people will disagree, but I, I think if you're on a power dynamic, like the boss shouldn't be creeping around the office and and trying to get employees to go home with him. It, it, it is a power dynamic, and it's it's just not it's not professional. I do believe in professionalism, and that's not a professional thing to do. But that seems to be the case here. So he's basically using his position to try to pick up women when he'd be much better served just going to some Hollywood nightclub. I mean, you're the director of No Time to Die and other projects. You'd be a lot better off doing it that way, too. Also, why are you being so stupid in the era <laughs> of... Uh, Hashtag M E T O O, like putting your put he put himself in this position because a lot of these people are for sure going to do that if you just try to talk to them. Like this one, this is weird. So these two women, they're sisters, and he went up to them and wanted to get them in a hot tub for uh, for a threesome. And he's like, oh, it's okay if everyone's on the same page. <laughs> Incest is okay if all of the parties are okay with his. <laughs> this, guy's, this guy's very forward. This is from the set of Maniac. So, I don't know, this guy's gotten himself in some trouble. I just, it's funny that once again, it's some guy out there saying he's a champion of women. And looks like he's anything but. Anyway, that's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think. Also, if you would, please like, subscribe, share the video. Make sure you're still subscribed. Hit that notification bell. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace. Also, if you want to help support the channel, check out my Teespring store. There's a link in the description. You can find some merchandise in there that you might want to check out. Also, make sure to follow me over on Twitch. I do watch parties, play video games over there. They're always fun. Follow me over there and come hang out. Also, make sure you subscribe to Yellow Flash, my other channel. There's a link to that in the description as well. I do a lot of live streams over there that I don't do on this channel. They're usually smaller and a little bit more personal. So make sure you follow me over there and sign up.